Welcome to this COVID review of the Model X SA330 Puma helicopter in 1100 scale. I'm away from my usual video resources, so this review might be a bit rough and ready. You've been warned. Transport helicopters have been one of the exciting parts of the Red Dawn release for Team Yankee, with the Mi8 HIP, Chinook and others entering the game. I was searching for plastic helicopter kits online and came across this kit on eBay from Argentina, so I thought I'd give it a go. Join me for a look. This is the Model X Plastic SA330 Puma kit in 1100 scale. Model X is an Argentinian company, and as far as I can tell, this is a reboxing of the old 1972 kit from French model company Hella. I had a look on scale mates and was surprised Model X have a few kits in 1100 scale, like the Super Etendard and Mirage, as well as the Gazelle and SA315 helicopters. So I ordered a couple of these Puma kits from Argentina. The kits themselves were cheap, but shipping was hideously expensive about 25 US dollars, which is why it was a bit disappointing when they arrived crushed and in bad shape. I'll have to use the Australian term munted again for these. Despite the damage, the plastic seems to have survived okay. Let's have a look. Everything comes in a plastic baggie, so parts don't go missing. There's a single main sprue of parts, two hull parts, a clear sprue, decals, and a one-page instruction sheet. Here's the main sprue. It has the main rotors as separate blades. This isn't designed as a wargaming kit, so this might prove a bit fragile. A Perspex rotor replacement might be on the cards here. The other parts are the undercarriage, wheels, tail rotor and side wheel sponsons. Some of the internal framework parts might help with fuselage alignment. There are some sink marks here. Remember, this is a 1972 vintage kit. This is to be expected with a kit and mould this old. There's limited detail, especially in the engine air intakes. Again, expected in a kit of this vintage. While the box art shows a later Puma with air intake covers, the kit parts are just simple indentations. The left and right fuselage parts are here. There are no locating pins on these. Take care gluing them together to get the alignment right. You might have to hold or clamp them together until the glue sets up securely. The cargo doors are all moulded closed. The clear parts include the cockpit, which is the entire front fuselage section. You'll need to paint the fuselage parts of this, but that's not really a problem, as the convention for wargaming kits is painting transparencies in any case. There are also transparencies for the fuselage windows. The decals in this kit are a single set of Argentine decals. That's hardly a surprise given the market Model X created this kit for. The decals in my example kit were very yellowed. Not a problem since mine will probably be modelled in British service. Battlefront decals for the Lynx should do the job here. Instructions are a single sheet with one exploded assembly diagram. It's a pretty simple kit so this should be enough to get the job done. There's no internal detail in the cockpit, so nothing to leave out. So that's a peek inside the Model X 1100 scale Puma helicopter kit. The price of this kit reflects its age and overall dated moulding. Unfortunately, shipping from Argentina makes these a relatively expensive option. This is an inbox review, so I haven't built this kit yet, so I can't really tell you how it goes together. But this is an old moulding. I expect it will take some modelling skill to turn this into a decent kit for the wargaming table. The only build option is wheels down, but it should be easy enough to make it wheels up, although as a transport in Team Yankee it will hit the table at some point, so maybe wheels down is the right choice. There are no stats for the Puma in Team Yankee, but it should be easy enough to develop some from the transport helicopter stats in the Red Dawn and Air Assault mission pack releases. So short of 3D printing, this x Heli kit was the only 15mm plastic option I could find. If you're willing to wear the shipping cost, maybe you should give this kit a go. This is the last Fog of War video for 2022. 
It's also being produced here in COVID isolation, hence some quality issues working with what I have in here. Have a happy new year and my best wishes for 2023. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again soon.